Okay, so our objective today for this video is to understand how changing the dimensions of a rectangular prism affects its volume. All right, so let's, let's look. If we take this rectangular prism, it has dimensions of 2 by 3 by 1. And if we were going to double the dimensions, what happens if we double just the width of 2? So I have some other boxes over here, and there's another one just like it. So now it's twice as wide. So it's got a doubled width. The length is the same. The height is the same. So we've doubled one dimension, and it's two times bigger. Yep. So if we double, we've doubled the width. Now if we double the length. Okay, so if I put a length in here, it looks to me like I can't just put one. We're going to have to fill in this space, too. Yep. So now I've doubled my width and I've doubled my length. And it looks to me like there's four times as many cubes now. Right. So I've doubled two of the three dimensions. Now if I double the height as well, to me it looks like there's going to be four. Yeah, because we can't just put in one, can we? No. No. So we have to put in four more. Okay. So now I've doubled the width doubled the length, and I've doubled the height. Right. And if I take apart and look, I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of times the original, shape. Of the original shape. So if we double the length, the width, and the height, our volume is eight times bigger. Right. So what did we actually do here? We multiplied, multiplied the length times 2, multiplied the width times 2, multiplied the height times 2, and ended up with 8 times bigger. So what did we do here? What math operation? Well, if we double, that would be times 2. So 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, so that would give us our 8 times bigger. So when you double all three dimensions, of a rectangular prism, it's always going to be 8 times bigger. You know something else? 2 times 2 times 2 is actually 2 to the third power. Oh. And 2 to the third power equals 8. And look at this. Third power, three dimensions. We doubled all three of them. And volume is always to the third power. Right. Volume is always cubic. That's why that's going to be cubic. 